she's going into labor right now, it looks like. There's a hoof sticking out. There's Annabelle coming to check on her. So I've been up here at the dairy for a few hours already, working on building manger and uh, some other things. Didn't have a camera with me, so I would have recorded her in labor, but one of our cows here, Goldie, she's going into labor right now it looks like. She's dancing around on her back feet and, and she's walking around like she's agitated. I fed them some hay and she's usually up there eating, but uh, She'd rather be down here at the bottom of the pasture. See the barn is up there, the rest of the cows. And that's where we feed them. But uh, she's over here somewhere. Had some meetings tonight, but might need to cancel them. So make sure that her, her birth goes well. Her calving goes well. She was lying down. I don't want to stress her out too much, but oh. She has something going on for sure. There's a hoof sticking out. I think this is Goldie's fourth calf. Fourth or fifth calf, so. There's Annabelle coming to check on her. Come on, you can do it. Push. Breathe. I really wish this was happening during the day so I could show you it. She pushes a little bit and the hoof comes out and then she relaxes a little bit. So I don't know how much longer it's going to be. She just laid down. She's probably going to try to lay down and push. Yeah, she's pushing right now.
it's a heifer. So she's a Angus Jersey heifer. Which I'm just fine with. Just glad that she's healthy and that she came out the right way and I didn't have to do nothing. So I would sit out there and keep recording, but my phone is my light and it's dead. So uh, I'm sitting here charging it in my shed here and uh, about 10, 15 minutes I'll go back out there. She's not standing up yet, I don't know if she's ready. Maybe in a little bit here she'll be ready and hopefully I'll catch her standing up for the first time and uh, see if she's uh, you'll be able to suck and get some colostrum. Um, once she gets some colostrum, I know she'll be fine for the rest of the night. So I'm mainly here until that happens. And in the morning I'll be able to move her and her mother to the pens where they're supposed to be and uh, milk, milk Goldie out for the first time. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, here in my shed here that I hauled up here. I built this shed down where we live. Um, last winter when the roads were iced over, we actually hauled this shed or used the shed like a sled on the road and dragged it all the way over here. Can't believe we're doing this. Crazy. So, um, Goldie here looks like a really, really good producer. She's got a really nice looking bag and the lady that owned her before said she gave it seven gallons at her peak. So, um, that'll be a really good thing for us. We got some customers asking for raw milk and we don't have enough milk for everyone. So I'm um, getting her up and going and getting all that milk from her will be a great boost to our little business here, a little raw milk business. So um, that's what we're looking forward to. Um, looking forward to milking her and seeing what she can do and uh, and having another healthy calf that um, I think come this spring we should be able to sell to some people around here that want to put some cows on pasture. So that'll help us with money wise too. We're really, really strapped for money. So we're really hoping that uh, with this cow, with her production, and then the calves that we have to sell this spring, that uh, we can get on top of our, our debt and our finances and start doing with stu some stuff to this place. This day, place needs some fixing up, and uh, we need more cows to milk. Genetic-wise, she is our best cow. Um, she's got a really good frame, a really good body, and it looks like she's going to be a really good producer. Her bag, you know, for how old she is, I think she's five, six years old. Her bag is in really good shape. So um, genetically, we're, we're wanting to use her to help build our herd and help build the good genetics of our herd. So um, the other thing, she's kind of our prize cow. We're going to build our future sires and our future, you know, heifers off of her. So that's another thing while I'm watching her really closely. I really want her to do well and to be healthy. So in the future, when we breed her, we can breed her to a higher-end Jersey bull and hopefully either get a sire or get another high-producing heifer for this for this dairy. Excuse me, Annabelle. So I went to go down and check on her without the phone and the camera, and she was standing up. She's not close to the shed. She's about a 200, 250 yards away from where the shed is at. So and it's uphill and downhill, so I'm out of shape. I'm breathing a little hard. There you go. You see it? There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. So close. I might need to milk her out a little bit tonight. Don't want any problems with mastitis or anything, I don't know. And yeah, I could wait, but I really want to help her bag out there. Looks looks huge and painful. So I'm gonna see if I can empty it out a little bit by milking her. Hey guys, it's back here in the house. So left the calf there um, with his mom. Uh, before I left, the calf was sucking on her and get some colostrum. So she should be just fine, and she's moving around really good, and seems pretty strong moving around. So I think she, I think she'll be okay. It's not a very cold night, so that so that's good. Um, I did manage to milk out a gallon of colostrum out of the out of the cow, and got that saved in the fridge in case I I need it for, for anything. So uh, got colostrum. The calf is sucking, and the mama seems alert and fine, and ate some grain and a little bit of warm molasses water. So, uh, everyone should be good tonight, and we'll see how everyone's doing in the morning. Thanks for being here with us today and watching us grow. Have a good night. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you missed Santa Claus! Oh my goodness. Yeah!